Hi everyone, welcome to Sweet Peas Sids Inspirations. My name is Sydney and welcome to my bi-weekly updated video. If you are new here, I want to welcome you along with all of my returning subscribers. And just a quick little rundown of what this video consists of. I talk about my work in progresses and finished objects. I will also kind of go over some things that are coming to the channel or changing in the channel. Um, some new designs that I've been working on, just overall information that you guys might might want to know. Um, so and kind of talk about how my week's been and this week's been kind of the best of both worlds. I've had a really good last two weeks but also as far as designing wise has kind of flopped. Um, I've been trying to come up with some new designs and um, they've been a little fussy so um, that's kind of how my week's been going. Um, but I did get some things done and I do have some new projects to share with you guys and new designs. Um, so as always, I will go ahead and start off with my spinning. So if you've seen this past week, Wednesday, I had a video that came out of my, how, um, the overall process of how I got the, uh, Hauser 4 ply, which is a new technique to myself. I found this in a book that I was gifted um, by my stepmother-in-law um, for my birthday. It has, it talks about like 80 different techniques that you can do with spinning and different types of yarns. Um, and so the one that really kind of stood out to me was the Hauser 4 ply, which is a rope yarn. And um, if you want to go check that video out, please feel free to do that. I'll make sure that there is a link here somewhere. Um, and that kind of goes over some detail of exactly what I was doing. So please feel free to check that out if you would like. Um, but I did spin some, um, the different colored yarn is a merino and mulberry silk blend. And then the black is a corridor wool. Um, and it is a four ply. So that is one thing that I did get accomplished these last two weeks. And this one is, I think I spun 139 yards. So there is one thing that I've got spun up. And then I also, if you've seen in my last updated video, I, um, made some Rolex with, some. Um, roving style yarn that I got from Joann's, blended that on the blending board, and then made some Rolex. So I took a few of those and um, started spinning those up. Um, so this is 100% recycled polyester, and it gave me a little bit of a tussy. Um, it was really, really fussy. I'm a poet and didn't even know it. Um, uh, I really struggled trying to get this yarn on the bobbin. It just kept on wanting to split apart for me and um, I finally got it figured out but I did have some difficulty spinning the 100% recycled polyester. So um, if you've seen, I think it was like two weeks ago or something, my husband brought home some 100% virgin polyester. So I'm kind of curious of how that's going to spin out now. Um, I've been thinking about taking some cotton that I have, some raw cotton that I have and polyester and blending those together and make a wonderful sock yarn. So we'll see how that goes. Um, next month, you'll probably see a lot more spinning being involved with the channel where July is Tour de Fleece, which goes coincide with the Tour de France. So you'll start seeing some more spinning videos next month. Um, so I haven't shown any weaving in quite a while. So I decided that I wanted to kind of bust out my big old weaving loom and um, make some washcloths. Um, I started if I, I had a company named VIP Cross Stitch contact me asking if I would um, review some of their product, products probably about a month ago and I ended up getting one of those small little toy weaving looms and I figured maybe that would be a great idea to maybe try to do some washcloths but it kind of, eh, I took everything off and it was just so much more time consuming and was more of a fit than um, 
really needed to be so I brought out my big old weaving loom and um, made some washcloths now I have gotten two completely finished except for these little ends so there is one and this is the second one I kind of wish I would have made these a little bit bigger but it is what it is it's just washcloth um, and these are great for exfoliation. I ran my um, warp is, which is the vertical uh, strands of yarn. I use that as 100% cotton and then the weft, which is horizontal, horizontal threads, um, I use some scrubby yarn. So these are great for foliation. I've gotten two fully completed and then I have three more that I've got to kind of pretty up and sew together. So there is that as far as weaving goes. I have, I think it's been since Christmas, Thanksgiving time since I've actually wove on my weaving loom. So now I kind of remember why I don't touch my weaving loom as often. So a few more things that I have also gotten accomplished this week um, that's also given me a little bit of a fuss. Um, so I got all of my tutorials completed for July and I'm moving into August tutorials now. And I got to thinking what exactly am I going to do for the month of August and got it um august is when kids go back to school same thing with college students and um i got to thinking bookmarks bookmarks would be awesome if people still even use bookmarks i don't know but i just thought that was a wonderful idea for the month of august so i'm wanting i'm doing a crochet and an edited version of a bookmark i've gotten my crochet to bookmark completed and I don't have a set date just yet, um, but here is what I have gotten accomplished. So this is, I think I'm going to either name it the floral um, bookmark or the lotus bookmark. I can't remember exactly what I decided to name it, but um, it does have a taper at the top and bottom and it's just a crocheted fillet style bookmark it still has to be stretched out and everything but look for this to be coming out in august now my knitted bookmark that i'm wanting to do um really hasn't been working in my favor either um i started on several different designs and nothing was really coming out right the same thing with the yarn wasn't working with me wasn't really showing the design overall so I chose a different style of yarn, kept on messing up with that, and yeah, I'm to the point where I just have my cast on. So um, we'll see how that goes, whether I actually go forward with the knitted bookmark or not. Um, hopefully in next updated video, I can update you guys on the knitted version bookmark. Um, and I also worked on my um, locking fillet blanket as well, and I'll go ahead and insert a picture here. So that is the Rat Rod Locking Fillet Blanket that is designed by Lisa Conley. I absolutely love her designs. Um, she has beautiful work. I love doing the locking fillet for me, it's a lot easier than doing a Grafkin or a Mosaic. You don't have all the color changes like Mosaic or um, Grafkin does. And plus, you kind of get like two blankets in a one. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun. They're a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun. Um, so feel free to check out her website, which will be down in the description box. Um, and last but not least, I have been working on a new design as well. Um, so... I don't know if you would really consider this as a poncho, but that's what I want to kind of consider it as like an open face poncho. I'm hoping that's how it turns out. Um, it's going to be similar to what I'm wearing right now, um, which what I'm wearing right now um, was kind of the inspiration uh, behind this design. This is going to be called the um, Two Phases of the Moon, 
or both phases of the moon, something, something like that. Um, and so down the middle, you'll have some chains that is just going to stay open, not braiding it, nothing like that. So then you're just going to stay open. And then on both sides of the chain is like a moon or circle shape. This is a simple two row repeat, um, kind of mindless to do. Um, I did, I shouldn't really say that it's mindless because I did end up having to rip some uh, rows up because I did make some mistakes, but um, it's very, very simple to do and not much to it. Um, I'm hoping the tutorial for this will come out. I'm shooting for August for the tutorial to come out. We'll see how things go. Um, I've got some company coming in this week. Um, so for pretty much almost a week, I won't be working on much of anything. Um, but that's really all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I am working on. And um, if you guys have any suggestions of what you would like to see on the channel, feel free to do that. I love hearing your guys' recommendations um, and your thoughts and all that stuff. So feel free to let me know that down in the comment section. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you guys next time.